All right, guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how to play Jack's top lane in the newest patch that just came out. So what you want to run right now uh, with all the nerfs and changes and buffs and all that stuff, you want to run Lethal Tempo right now. You want to take Triumph, Alacrity, Lessened, and then you also want to take Bone Plate and Overgrowth. Now, unfortunately, though, I have Bone Plate, but Bring it, it seems like I got trolled pretty hard because they, they've all been lane swapping around. Seems to be that we now play against Nazi here. Which is honestly a pretty big joke. Like, um, now that they nerfed potions and all that stuff, like, that means that long range champs are now way stronger right now. And of course, you have people who take it way too serious and they go Azir top lane. And it's not necessarily an impossible matchup. Certainly, it's not for Jax, but it's really annoying to face off because obviously it's going to stand really far away. It's not going to be fun. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm not too worried, but we have to be playing. Uh, we have to play very patient. Especially level six, you can basically uh, knock us backwards, and then you can basically turn around if you want. Not bad. I'll shock immediately. I mean, all in immediately. <laughs> Not bad. But yeah, like, Azir is a really, really, really strong top laner into the right champ. Um, that is also if you play against a champ that can't all in. For us, like, we need to all in in a time when he does not expect it. Right? That's how we deal with this Azir. So every time he's going to poke us, we're just going to directly all in. That's pretty much what we're going to do all the time. Okay, he backs off. Pretty good. I have no mana, but he would have died <laughs> if I had it. Not bad. So yeah, Azir, very simple. Just like any other ranged top laner. If you play Jax, you need to like um, grow a mental of confidence. You have to just all in immediately as soon as you get the chance. So not just Azir, but also Kennen. Um... Even champions like Quinn and Vayne, like even though they have dashes, you just have to all in at the right timing and just get the right time off of your E and then you just kill them. That's how you do it. Ready for battle. Okay, we got Sheen now. So now we're going to make things even easier, right? We're going to let Azir uh, shove the wave into me, right? And we're going to directly hit the counter strike on him as soon as we have the chance we also have flash advantage so we could trade him right now oops cancelled my auto it's okay though we're going to deny him a massive wave if he decides to back for right now that's pretty cool for him but he's going to lose a massive wave right now if he does Oh, we dashed away in the right timing. Not bad. Let me at him. If that counter strike hit, he would have died. I'm gonna freeze the wave so we can deny him more. There we go. Surprise. Yeah, you know what sucks? Like I actually got bone play in this matchup, and I also have armor. Like they're both pretty weak against this year. <laughs> Kind of sucks to uh, to be uh, to have people like lane swapping to just to win the their lane. But yeah, that again is it's not bad. Surprise! I'm back. I'm gonna keep on like freezing the wave. We don't have my jungle here, but it's still worth doing it. Oh, missed that one. I just wait very patiently. I'm about to reach level six. As you can see, like you can't really play out the lane that easily. Okay. He's up. I have no mana. Oh man, what a lucky guy! <laughs> I was like. Just less than like two mana away from queuing, and if I hit that Q, he would have died. <laughs> and 
it's okay. I think he's looking for uh for a plan to give him HP, which isn't there. He doesn't actually have that. No. I have the mana to do a QE, but that's about it. Yeah, I can't do more. No. Yeah, that sucks, man. When you play against like matchups like this, like this is how frustrating it can be because they can just farm from like long range. You know, if they play it slowly, it's very challenging to actually kill them. It really depends on like how aggressive they play. And it seems like this Azir does not play aggro at all. Because obviously he knows if I if he gets into Q range, I can just hit my combo and it's over for him. Let me add him. He goes back, okay. You know what? I'm gonna play this very safe because we have a Ramus up here. If he can, uh, if he comes top lane right now, it's gonna be free kill. Okay, I'm gonna freeze the wave. We got a Ramus up here. Uh, the wave is still. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's not crashing under tower. I was kind of worried. Uh, this guy will probably get away. Yeah. I'm gonna freeze the wave. We're going to deny Azir as much as we can. So we hold the wave again, similar to what we always do. We walk in the brush so that the minion aggro stops. And that's it. Of course, I get creep blocked, so I miss a CS. That's the classic. Yep. It happens so much lately, I'm kind of used to it now. The creep block is, happens almost every game. Sometimes I feel like they just gave it an update so that you... <laughs> so that you um, get creep blocked even more sometimes. Dragged away for definitely losing a bit, but... There's a jungle up here. I can't go for that CS now. We got a Ramus coming. You know what sucks the most? Like I have to drop a lot of a lot of the wave just to stay up here. Nice. Oh, he's up. There you go. Yeah, like, that's that's the one thing that sucks the most. Like, you play against uh, something like this and you just lose, like, a lot of farm. It's just part of it. <laughs> I hit him with the stun and then I uh, I forced him across the wall so it would land on Ramus. <laughs> it worked so well. Yeah, I have to go back now. All right, so we're like uh, 500 go to wait right now from getting my Define. That's going to be awesome once I have it. Like, technically, we already don't struggle against them. But if once we have Define, we're going to be absolutely unkillable. Like, if you have Define on Jax, you scale up so hard, you can pretty much 1v1 almost about anyone currently. Like, since they changed Define, like, not too long ago, things have been taking a big turn. Like, he's still up, uh, now that you have Sustain on Define, you're even more unkillable in Jax right now. As he is going mid. Let's shove the wave. I think I might shove the wave in and probably just go back immediately after so I can get my Define. Or, if he decides to shove mid lane, I'll probably get plates then. I think that's what I'll probably do. Yeah. He's trying to get plates in mid, so this is going to be free for me. He 
We get two of them, at least, because Azir's still mid. Immediately shove it, because there's three people mid now. They're going for a fight, which is super, super great for me. They're definitely losing that fight, because I would get the blades anyway. Or... Well, I'll call these up here. I need my uh I need my ultimate. The thing is I'm like running short of mana right now. Hmm. Okay. I'm probably dead. Yeah, is that much I can do? I don't have the mana. You know that that's one thing I don't like about this patch. They've been nerfing potions, but they've also been nerfing biscuits, right? And those were the ones that, you know, it still works on Jax, don't get me wrong. I'd probably go biscuits this game if I knew I was up against his ear. Um, but the thing is, I took, I took bone play because I thought I was playing against set, right? So my runes are completely ruined this game. And because of that, I'm always running short on mana because I'm like in the wrong matchup with my runes, you know. I noticed it. I noticed it a lot this game. I'm like uh, the only thing that that I'm struggling with so far is just the mana. That's 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 it, pretty much. But yeah, that will be fixed soon. Like we have to find out, so I'm not, not too worried. Sidestep. He has no R. Of course, we don't hit. <laughs> Shove the wave again. Let me add up. All right, here we go. We uh, got Ramus up here. I don't think we can dive. Bring no. It, it sucks that we couldn't kill Akali earlier because we were just missing just a bit of mana. Perfect. Counter-Strike was on the perfect moment because he couldn't press R. Maybe at, at the end he could have pressed R, but he didn't do it. Or just, yeah, he didn't press R. I'm just like saving up my mana a little bit by not using it. Uh, I got the mana now to fighter, so it's going to be very different now. Got it. Uh, Ram is coming top side, so we can probably dive. One, uh, two v one. Staying away from the Q. Got him. Good game from Ramus. Yep, got him as well. Pretty good. And <laughs> then I die. I did not know he was going to do that, actually. <laughs> hey, we've been cleaning things up. Several people coming to upside. We got like two. Not bad. I don't care if Azir gets kills, to be honest. Definitely going for mercs. Like, they have... They literally have three champs that are full AP. Well, Astro is just uh, like partially AP. They all, they have like almost four AP. So we're definitely going Mercs. They also have like some CC. So it's going to be useful. All right. Oh, 
I'll just shove the wave. Two people in mid. I want to take the tower down, but I also want to let him like boost the cannon. But then again, I think that some people are coming top at the moment. Let's go back. Yeah, like I said, there's probably like Echo coming top side. Oh. <laughs> See you later. I'm probably dead. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, like I said, there were people coming top lane. I, I, Like I said, there was one guy here. They were coming down here. I had a different plan though. I was, uh, I was going to jump over the wall a lot earlier. I had like two things in my mind. I wanted to kill them 1v2 at the same time. I want to jump over the wall here. That oh, sucks. Let's take a red chink it now. Let me add him. Yeah, very unfortunate we die against that. I saw it coming too. But no problem. Ooh, we're gonna go cleaned up. I call these top lanes so we can probably fire here, even though my teammate's dead. Just this year, I don't care. Never mind. <laughs> like today's the day, I highly underestimate Azir just for what this champ is actually. He does more damage than, than I expect. Yeah, we got an report coming up here. Gotta be careful from, from the burst. No, never mind. Yeah, I had my teammates like pinging for his ear. That's why I turned around again. I shouldn't have done it. I should have just kept walking back. Nearly got baited. It's easy to get baited by people with pings, man. Back top. Bring it on. I'm honestly pretty disappointed with like how laning phase went. Like we did win lane against Azir so far, but like um, we haven't got as many uh, kills or pressure as what I was hoping for. Uh, mainly because after like half of the lane phase, like they've been swapping lane again for the second time. And since then, like, it's been quite annoying. Akali, like, always gets away. This is what I'm talking about, basically. I would really appreciate it if you could actually have a blue buff. That would be nice. people down here. Uh, of course, the Kali is also coming top side, so we have to go back anyway. Got him. Mm. He's not going to overextend AC. If he gets a Ram cc we can probably kill him. No. Oh, they're fighting for <laughs> now they're fighting for a C okay. Oh, that sucks. Stay better, stay away from that. She's not stealing the red buff. Okay. I just don't think that she saw it. 
I'm pretty sure if she saw the rep up, she would have probably try tried fighting for it. But she didn't. Got my blade. Yeah, I stole the farm from Corky, but it's uh, it's okay. I got my blade now. So it's worth it. So now my Q is maxed out, which means if I fight uh, Azir or Akali in, in this case, I can just chase him down super easily. Because it's maxed out. I have the uh, low school down right now. Maybe some ability hits would be appreciated, but I don't think I'll build it now. I'll probably like end up building towards wit's end at some point. That stance will come like much later. There's set up here. I like three man, this should be uh should be a good one. Got him. The kill transfers to Morgana, but that's all right. All this stuff, the rip off, is, I mean the dragon is spawning like 40, so we have to make a move soon. She's got to drop that E down. <laughs> They've got to have vision in that brush. You know? Well, instead of going for the, the, the two, uh, two components there, I'll just go for pickaxes because it provides me more raw damage. Hey, Ekotoshi, thank you for the, thank you for the small rate. Thanks, man. Wait a second. All right, now comes a good time. Uh, she might get away. Force. Um. Yeah, there's a Kali up here. That's why I'm struggling. She has the, the, the damage to do it, to pull it off. That's why I've been trying to avoid it. Thankfully I did, because I think it would have probably died. She might try to steal it. <laughs> the timing on Akali's Q was nearly perfect. She nearly stole it. I tried I tried timing my combo as well. It actually failed. It had like uh, 200 HP remaining, so it wasn't close. <laughs> okay. Well, looking good. We're starting to become pretty fed now. Let's shove the wave. Now it's my turn. Mm hmm It's like two people ball lane, one guy mid. There's probably like someone top now. Oh, it's Anya's instead. I purposely like played it like that because I thought like, hey, if he's gonna play like that, then he will probably like knock me off backwards, right? Well, no, he pressed Anya, so my flash was a total failure. <laughs> I was having higher expectations from uh, 
That's you right there. For a second. I thought it would like something fancy would come out. Like some fancy combo or something. They're like pushing top, like mid lane and bot lane, so we're able to bolt us off. Took way too much damage. Alright. Kind of waste my ultimate. Take the blue before they can. Got it. Perfect. Well, yeah, that might be pretty int. At least we got the inhib. It was a good trade because they were pushing mid and bot lane. We were pushing top lane. And obviously, Jax can shove towers way faster than anyone else. So, I wasn't worried at all. Let's get back. Okay, my wits end. I think probably next item I'll go dead stance for cooldown reduction. As well as the uh, survivability. We still need something against Astro and uh, Seth specifically, so that sense is going to be a good purchase. Got him. Nice try. Thank you. Appreciate it. Nice. Now we take all this. Only his ear life, he's in the top side. So we're chilling. Kali's on the way. Mm. Get baited. We had a Morgana on my back, so... <laughs> I was honestly thinking I could dive that, but it's way more... <laughs> Way harder than than, uh, than I thought it was. Not bad. Okay, he went for that. Whew. Wait, what? He went back in. Yeah. I saved my Counter-Strike on purpose. What do you mean? <laughs> He's alive. Got him. We're good to go. This game is a win. I'm like too fed right now. Well, that's the first thing that I've seen from Azir. You know what? I've been playing against Azir for 30 minutes. I've been waiting for some fla like some flashy play or fancy play or whatever. All game. Like, I've been uh, playing around the two. And now, like, we're, like, 30 minutes in. I haven't seen anything. And now he does, like, a, like a, a 1v9 play. <laughs> 30 minutes long. I thought, like, as you couldn't do it. <laughs> but now he does it. Hmm. We got wrecked, man. <laughs> to that one as your ultimate. Very unexpected. I'm going to sell this one. I'll get my GA. GA will also give me survivability. And honestly, I don't need uh, more MR for this team. So, 
We're going GA. Let's see. Of course. Like, good time. <laughs> I had no counter strike. <laughs> hmm. I was also saving my ultimate for the best timing. I knew that Seth was baiting because he was walking into, like towards his team. It was pretty obvious. So I knew it was what I was getting myself into. I need my team. I need the group right now. Like a five man group up and they will never beat us. I'm I'm like they, they need like five men to beat me at the moment each time. So my team groups up like we don't struggle that much. Yeah, like this this does not need to happen. Like we just need to the everyone to group up. It's on. What kind of died? I don't wanna fight Seth specifically because it's always an issue. He will always kick you into someone. Unless What a clean up. Again, like kind of unlucky. Because um like the the other guy, he was running off with like a hundred HP. Like we on the other hand, if we had Counter Strike coming up, I used it. When I used it, like Astro jumped away with his E. And it was pretty low cooldown. Apparently. Low enough, like to reuse it twice. Let the gods in. Wow. Six months and twenty uh at twenty one seconds. Right, we might actually miss the Drake now. They're like, I think they're probably like five men on Drake right now. Bring it on. Oh, I guess. I need my counter strike. Also got away. Hmm. That's really unfortunate. Like every team fight we had so far, we are we are cleaning up the mess, but like it's not enough all the time. It's it's still like Two people remaining. They focus me when the team fight starts too. He's trying to seal it. <laughs> they have a ward.
Oh, we're kind of maxed out. We're level 18. We have full build, so it's going to come down to my team to, like, uh, make a play right now. Like, we're completely maxed out, so we, we can't get any more. We can get potion. We can maybe replace boots, but that's it. Maybe replace my GA once it's on cooldown, but, you know. Get this one. They'll probably shove mid. Ready for battle. Get my potion. Again. Or actually. I don't think they will pass, no. They will they'll probably just uh run straight mid. I got my GA. Yeah, I get like that. We didn't have enough. Sucks, man. I had a good jump on Astro, so he was kind of useless in that fight. And then, like, the other people don't really have damage except for Makali and Azir. I'm very curious to see, like, the damage done after the, after the, ga uh, the game lobby. Managed to like clean it up at the same time we lost the tower, so it's not worth it. But whatever. I can replace my boots right now. So we have a choice to make. It's either we go for um, specifically for Frozen Heart for Azir, right? Or we can go for Multi Memorias. Hard decisions to be made. I think let's just go with this one. We'll make it work. Now we are actually maxed out. Like, it doesn't get any better than this now. And now all we need is like my team to group up. Clean. Very clean. That was a good cue. Counter-Strike. I was uh, trying to time out my Counter-Strike uh, with the person on the left of the wall, but he didn't show up anymore. And I just got bursted too hard. I am like so curious. Like, wh why don't why don't we have the um, if I can manage to clean up like multiple opponents in every single team fight? I wonder like. What's keeping us away from winning those team fights? I wonder who does like the least damage in this team fight. I'm just curious. I, I want to see the damage done after the game because I'm pretty sure we should have enough damage.
<laughs> okay. He pressed R away. Got him. Uh, they're going to flank the, the base. We might still lose. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Well, either way, it was a good game. Thanks so much for watching today's Jax video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.